your syllabus is up to mark completed all the major portion of your syllabus is completed some of the parts are complete from molecular biology all the topics main topics are completed now today we are just revise one topic which already completed and uh, <coughs> that is a major important part of your syllabus that is nutrition we just revise today nutrition main main topic what is in the nutrition and which kind of questions comes in the examination Students, first we see which type of questions comes in the examination, and which part of the nutrition is important. Nutrition. It is a very important topic. As per your syllabus. as per your examination and major of the questions comes from the nutrition having question short answer question short number question okay because it is a very important topic comes from a, different subject you already studied this topic in community medicine also in psm preventive and social medicine in the next year okay but in this year you just concerned to touch about some of the terminology that is important okay the first question which is comes from nutrition is what is balanced diet question is comes like that what is balanced diet what is your suggestions to diabetic subject it is either comes in three number mark questions or five number mark question okay bmr another important short question which is comes in the exam bmr that is basal metabolic rate what is that how it is affect the body how it is calculated what is the application of this bmr okay third question it's may be asked in short answer that is calorific value of carbohydrate calorific value of carbohydrate either calorific calorific value of protein or calorific value of lipids so these are also comes in the examination in marking of five numbers three numbers okay or either two numbers fourth one some disorder which is related with protein energy malnutrition it is what is directly examiner ask what is pm pm stands for pm stands for protein energy malnutrition okay protein energy malnutrition and specifically we can divide it yes kavashyorkar and marasmus kava 
शिवरकर एंड मार्समस इट इज सी दैट समाइम द क्वेश्चन में बी आज फ्रॉम क्लिनिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कोलेस्ट्रॉल लाइक वॉट इज इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फाइबर फूड इन द डाइट फाइबर फूड इन द डाइट क्वेश्चन में भी आस्क लाइक दैट वट द रोल ऑफ रफेज फाइबरस फूड दिस इज फाइबर और यू रफेज फूड वट द रोल ऑफ रफेज इन द डाइट समटाइम क्वेश्चन में भी आस्क नेक्स्ट वन इट इज डायरेक्टली आस्क वॉट इज Sometime this question may be asked in two numbers. Write about obesity. What is obesity? Okay. Arthritis causes. Arthritis causes. so these all are the major portion which comes in the examination okay sometime one important questions is also asked what is hda that is specific dynamic action we already complete this topic in the class but today we revise the topic okay so the first question is that before we discuss nutrition is a science which deals with the study of nutrients which is present in the biomolecules that is carbohydrate proteins and fats which is required for proper growth and metabolism of the body that is nutrition okay sit down so if somebody is asking what is nutrition it is related with the nutrients it is related with the discussion or uh, Study related with the nutrition, which is nutrient, which is present in other carbohydrate, fats, and protein, which is required for proper growth and metabolism of the body. Okay. Now, for this accompanied to take the all the nutrition, what is important? Here, the important is diet. We take carbohydrate. We take all the important components. Through the diet, okay. If somebody is asking what what is diet, a diet consists of energy yielding, body building, and protective nutrient which we eat to maintain normal growth function and optimal health of the body. That is ultimately what for the normal functioning of the body, for normal working of the body, we require energy. Or for this energy, for this uh, accompanied of this energy requirement, we take food in the form of carbohydrates, proteins, and fat in diet form okay so why is the important why is the diet is important for optimal growth and functions and health of the body okay now diet required for provide energy provide raw material provide essential molecules for maintaining the body temperature and optimal health as you already know you already know the biochemical aspects of all the diet that is if we take the carbohydrate they go further for different metabolic pathways through which either they can uh, proceed anaerobic reaction aerobic reaction and some of thermogenic reactions okay so all the different chemical components you already uh, completed in the syllabus so if we see the content of the food that is either they contain carbohydrate fats and protein the en energy requirement take the food in the gram and how much energy is produced either in uh, in the body okay that is 4 gram 4 calorific value per gram if we metabolize 1 gram carbohydrate then it produces 
ग्लूकोज फोर कैलोरी फैट नाइन कैलोरी प्रोटीन फोर कैलोरी हाउ एल्कोल प्रोड्यूस सेवन कैलोरी सो अल्टीमेटली दीज आर जस्ट अ वैल्यू विच इज कम्स नाउ यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन द मैन वी आर दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ दिस एनर्जी इज यूज दिस आर बेसिकली यूज फॉर बेसल मेटाबोलिक रेट स्पेसिफिक डायनेमिक एक्शन एंड फिजिकल एक्टिविटी वॉट इज बेसल मेटाबोलिक रेट वॉट इज बी एम आर बी एम आर इज वॉट इट इज अ मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर नॉर्मल नॉर्मल इन फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द बॉडी सच लाइक एट द टाइम ऑफ स्लीपिंग वेर द बॉडी एट रेस्ट इट इज इजिली डिफाइड एज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ एनर्जी वेन द बॉडी इज इन रेस्ट इट इज कॉल्ड बेसल मेटाबोलिक रेट बॉडी आर जनरली रेस्ट एट द टाइम ऑफ नाइट वेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्लीप दे आर एट नॉर्मल फंक्शनिंग इज प्रोसीड ऑन लाइक कार्डिक रिदिंग दे आर फंक्शनिंग ओके फॉर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस फंक्शन फॉर रिक्वायरमेंट द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड इज नोन एज बेसल मेटाबोलिक रेट ओके एंड बिसाइड दब थ्री एडिशनल एनर्जी सप्लाई इज नीडेड ड्यूरिंग ग्रोथ प्रेगनेंसी एंड इलेक्ट्रेशन सो दीज आर द फिजिकल कंडीशन दीज आर एन अदर फिजिकल कंडीशन इन विच वी रिक्वायर मोर एनर्जी इन द केस ऑफ सच लाइक इन द एथलीट जिम्नास्टिक पर्सन दे रिक्वायर मोर एनर्जी ओके नाउ बेसल मेटाबोलिक रेट वॉट इज दैट minimum amount of energy required by the body to maintain life at complete physical and mental rest so physical and mental rest is which position when the person is going to sleep so this is assumed that the person is going to mental rest or this rest period is to be called post absorptive state this question ask in the examination either in fine marks what is bmr so what is it is basal metabolic rate is defined as minimum amount of energy required by the body to maintain life at complete physical and mental rest in the post absorptive state it is also called rmr that is called resting metabolic rate understand normal value of bmr is 35 to 38 calorie per square meter hour that is 1600 calorie per day so it is assumed that our 60% of energy is going to this post absorptive state function okay now the factor which can affect bmr surface area age physical activity some hormones and some other condition like starvation fever and disease state okay so at this stage we required more energy to accomplish this for the compensation for the loss of the energy because in this fever state in the starvation there is requirement of the energy in the body is more so is also also changes the bmr of the body okay so these all are the factors you will write in your copy when you attend the and write this question okay now specific dynamic action the phenomenon of extra heat produced by the body over and above the calculated value when a given food is metabolized by the body is known as a specific dynamic action it is not easy to understand about the hta what is the meaning of that anybody can explain a specific dynamic action what is these definitions gives about clarification just the extra heat production by the body over and above the 
calculated caloric value over and above calorie value when a given food is metabolized in the body is known as a specific dynamic action. One gram of carbohydrate produces how much calorie? Four calorie per gram. Okay. But when the carbohydrate you will take, if they produce more energy above four gram, it is known as HDA. Can you think why the gymnastic people take more protein in their diet? Pre-workout, post-workout, they will take proteins, protein shake. Why? Because protein have more HDA. First thing is that, specific dynamic action. To utilize one gram of protein, we required more calorie above the calculated value. HDA for different food. For 25 gram protein, the calorie value is 100 calorie. But what you utilize? 130 calorie. So, over above calculated value is known as HTA. Okay. Now physical activity depend on the work. We already discussed this topic that on the basis of the work, body needs energy. Like for light work, it is for students and for those who are not doing very hard working, 30 to 40 percent of BMR, 40 to 50 percent of BMR, heavy work and for high doing physical work. So all these are 60 to 100 percent of BMR. Now it is my one question. It is one question to all of you. If a person doing making a chair of wood and another person doing labor work to make a wall of the bricks, which one required more energy? Either a carpenter or a labor. Who is required more energy and why? Why? Yes, because it is class we divide heavy work. Understand? Silent. So, we can divide also the requirement of the energy on the basis of calorie per day. It is 2200 to 2500 calorie per day. Normal light working, moderate work 2500 to 2900 calorie per day. And for heavy work 3500 to 400 calorie per day. Okay. So, we can now going to the next slide. Nutrition source of carbohydrate. Now we go for uh, this class. What is the importance of fiber food in the diet? Or what is the importance caloric value of the carbohydrate? We already discussed. Now, what is the importance of carbohydrate in the diet? Okay. It is a chief source of energy. You already know. You already know this. Carbohydrate is a chief source. Because during the first class, when we studied about carbohydrate chemistry, so we discuss the function and the main function of the carbohydrate is what? It is the main source of energy. Okay. Most abundant dietary constant carbohydrate utilized by the body starch in the form of starch, glycogen, sucrose, lactose, glucose and fructose. So major of the portion we take in the diet in the form of carbohydrate. Okay. So there are some other functions. Carbohydrates serve as a precursor for synthesis of fat. Carbohydrates as important. There are several processes you already know. Gluconeogenesis. You already know. Okay. So you can describe it when the question.
question is comes in the exam, write about the importance of carbohydrate. So you will describe it in detail. Okay, write about gluconeogenesis. Write about some other metabolic pathway. Okay, dietary carbohydrate. After the digestion and absorption, it is converted into like uh, starch and carbohydrate are go for glycolysis cycle through which it can produce pyruvate. From this, it is go for TCA cycle and after the TCA cycle, they use uh, some alpha ketoglutarate and oxaloacetate. So all these are metabolic pathway which you already studied in the previous class. So I am not going through detail. So now roughage. Roughage is what? It is a fiber food. What is the importance of roughage? Can anybody can explain how it can reduce the post perennial blood, blood glucose level? Question is asked in the examination in alternate way. Like to reduce the post absorptive state or post perennial blood glucose level patient taking roughage in the diet. How it is possible? It can reduce the absorption of absorption type of the glucose. The dietary fiber which are obtained from unrefined cereals, fruits and vegetable repulses having a non-digestive forms of carbohydrate like cellulose, hemicellulose and lignins. These all fiber are water insoluble and water soluble like tetrin gums and mucilage. So what is the function of roughage? It can roughage generally used by diabetes mellitus patients. Or reduce post perennial blood glucose level. Methidana jisko bolte na, Ayurveda mein. If some patient is comes, directly clinician suggests that you will take methidana in your diet. So what is important that it can reduce the post perennial blood glucose level. So ultimately what? It is, it is non-digestive forms. So it is not easy to absorb through the body. So it can increase the post perennial blood glucose level absorption rate. Okay. Roughage improve bowel volatility and prevent constipation. Roughage prevent colon cancer. Roughage reduces blood cholesterol and it is used by the diabetic patients. So all these are what? These are about the carbohydrate and roughage. So these are the importance. It is not as much important as carbohydrate as per the examinations concept but you already know importance of proteins it is building block all the enzymes several hormones these are made up of from proteins and it is important during several other important functioning like clotting of the blood and muscular contractions okay you can uh, skip this Now balanced diet, that is an important topic, its question is asked that what is balanced diet and what is your important suggestion for, what is your important suggestion for high blood pressure patient, what we call our term for high blood pressure patient, yes hypertension patient. What is your important suggestion for hypertension patient? If the question is asked to you, how will you give the answer? Who can give the answer of this question? What is your important suggestion for hypertension patient? From the last bench. Ah, stand up. What is your important suggestion? Kya sala hogi aapko agar koi ye kahe ki balanced diet kaisi honi chahiye kisi aise patient ki jiski Hindi mein kya bolte hai blood pressure ko? Rakt chap ki sikayat hai. Kya karna hai control? Low? Traveler, low salt taken yeah. or
for these terms we use a one term that is salt restricted diet we recommend salt restricted diet for hypertensive patient ab aise hi aapke paas diabetic patient aa gaya usko kya suggest karoge ha soda diet kar ke doge so as per the physical condition of the patient we can make the balanced diet we can make the diet chart in the different gym if a, uh, some of the student going to the gym the trainer make the diet chart for particular ones what is your requirement so balanced diet what is it it is a diet which contain four different types of food processing the nutrients carbohydrates fats and minerals in proportion to meet the requirement of the body you already know what the rd of calcium you already know what is the rd of phosphorus and for uh, iodine in your body you already know okay through this rd value you will make a diet which can meet all the requirements of the body for the normally function and for better growth of the body understand for this a complete we make a complete diet form that is called balanced diet a diet which have all the nutrients which are required for normally functioning of the body it is known as balanced diet okay now nutritional disorders we already discussed that are two important nutritional disorders first one is kawash yorker and second one is marasmus these are already we complete the topic now i will ask the questions to all of you what are the meaning of kawash yorker anybody explain shivam stand up what is kawash yorker explain padhna nahi hai sab padhna jante hain yahan pe All the students are able to read. You just explain a one term like how how will you differentiate the patient between Kawash Yorker and Marasmus? Both are having protein deficiency. Can I say pakado? Just straight pakado. Can to pakdi na? Protein deficiency to hai. Which one is below the above barrier? Kawash Yorker. okay that is kawash uh, yorker generally seen in the child of age 1 to 4 years sit down the physiological stress produced by this illness increase protein energy requirement at a time when intake is limited the cause of kawash yorker is chronic inadequate intake of protein with adequate intake of energy kawash yorker generally seen in the children of age 1 to 4 years puberty repeated pregnancy early and abrupt bearing for predisposing factor of kawash yorker so generally the meaning of that is only one it is happen to those children who are depend on their mother for energy requirement and the mother having protein deficiency diet due to such reason repeated pregnancies poverty and all socio economic conditions okay so due to this mother not taking proper diet mother not meet the requirement of protein in their diet so ultimately these are going to happen in their children and this is called kawash yorker so all these are the important symptoms of kawash yorker that is puffiness of the eyes moon faced it is important clinical symptoms of the patient moon faced okay hepatomegaly 
enlargement of the liver, edema of lower arms, legs and lower trunk. Why there is edema in lower arms and lower trunks, lower feet? Why? Which protein? Albumin. Okay. Albumin because children are already deficient of proteins and some of the protein is resting out like albumin. So what happened? There is edema. Okay. Ulceration of lower limbs, muscle wastings, upper arms and upper trunks, apathy, anorexia, anemia. So, all the important, all general important disease which can cause the weakness to the patients are all are in this child, and this is known as Kavashirka child. Now, when we see the real patient, what is that is it contain protruding belly. जो इनका पेट है थोड़ा आगे निकला हुआ था इसी को कहते हैं protruding belly. One of the important retarded growth, anemia, edema, and loss of appetite, thin, brittle, dye pigmented hair, dermatitis, mental apathy, and hypoalmenia. Whether it is a epidural, epidural. I can skip the terms. It is a particular area disease. Epidemiological, बोलते ना इसको? Yes, epidemiological. Epidemiological disease है क्या ये? ये किसी area में deficient थोड़ी हो रहा है? It is not हाँ. It is epidemic disease? No. Because some of the factor which is related like socio-economic condition, poverty and the mother is deficient of protein, so all these are not concerned with a particular area. It may be produced in several areas. Okay. Now marasmus. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. There is a... कहीं कंफ्यूजन हो रहा है एक कंफ्यूजन ये है कि इट इज नॉट डिपेंड ऑन मदर फर्स्ट वन कावाशोरकर आर जनरली कावाशोरकर मेक द कांसेप्ट कावाशोरकर आर हैपन ऑन दोस सब्जेक्ट हु आर टेकिंग डाइट व्हिच हैव ऑलरेडी डेफिशिएट ऑफ प्रोटीन्स ओके फर्स्ट वन एंड फॉर अ बिट टॉकिंग अबाउट द मैरिसमस it is a state in which all available body fat stores have been exhausted due to starvation. First thing, marismas are usually seen in infants less than one year. The first and important difference, if we talk about Kavashiorkar, it is happen at the age of one to four years. And it is generally in the scene, in the subject who have age less than one year, when they receive breast milk of malnourished mother, and given water feeding to food stuff, artificially supplement deficient in calorie, marismas usually occur in feminine areas. That is important. Now you can differentiate it. Okay. Sorry for uh, mist uh, confusion. So Kavashyorkar is what? It is a it is a child who will take deficient diet. One to four. Okay, and marasmus is what it is happen in the age of less than one year childs. Okay, now the main difference is what if some symptoms. Question is asking. Write five difference between Kavashiorkar and marasmus. Question is like that. So just make a one line. On your copy and write here one heading Kavashyorkar, second heading Marismas. The first one is age. Kavashyorkar happen at 1 to 4 years. 
Marsmas had less than one years. Second one is what? Second one is on the basis of symptoms you can divide it. Moon faced basically in the Kavashyorkar and it is not happen in the Marsmas. Okay. Now you will see here often still curly, dark, anoxious, hungry look, uh, gross, wasting face. And lactose malabsorption, diarrhea due to some absorption disorders. So basically, these are totally different from the Kawashiorka child. In the Kawashiorka child, there is loss of proteins and due to this, the symptoms of the subject is different like edema of feet, hepatomegaly, moon face, okay. So all these are not happen. It is totally a condition of starvation. Subject not required all the energy requirement for the normal body functioning. Okay? Now clinical feature, retarded growth, extreme muscle bursting and weakness, no subcutaneous fat, skin becomes thin. That is important clinical symptom. Okay? Subject having no subcutaneous fat because these are the muscles wasting disease. Body feel stark. Okay. So these both are what? It is protein energy malnutrition, Kawashiorkar and Mesmus and important topics which is comes in the exam either in 5 marks or 3 marks. There some can make the difference. It is normal here, old man face, thin muscle fit, no edema. It is hard. This is important. Edema is present in the child of Kawashiorkar. Because they are having a condition of hypoalbuminemia. Hypoalbuminemia. Okay. Moon face, thin muscle fat present, but there is no fat present. There is no subcutaneous fat. That's why they all the legs and hands become thin. Okay. Now some other nutrition disorder, arthroscolosis, you know what the meaning of arthroscolosis? Due to excess intake of fat, of cholesterol, the blood vessels become hardening. Hardening of the blood vessel is known as arthroscolosis. Is slowly progressive characterized by deposition of cholesterol in the inner arterial wall. And due to this, what happens? Patient become hypertensive. First thing, if you are taking more cholesterol in your diet, what, what happens? They increase the blood pressure of the body due to deposition of the cholesterol. Arthroscolotic deposit and uh, cause narrowing and hardening of the arteries, even stop the flow of the blood. It is a chance of high body infarction, heart attack, you already know we discussed, discuss. coronary arteries, cerebral arteries, popliteal arteries, iliac arteries are mainly affected, okay. So these are generally what? Why it is called overnutrition? What is the meaning of that? Anti? Fatty position. Over nutrition ke rana yata. If we taking, if we taking more amount of food, more amount of calorie, okay, and this calorie we not complete, completely adjusted. So this causes obesity, arthroscolosis and due to this several other diseases also prompt out like myocardial infarction, cardiac failure and some more. Diabetes mellitus is a overnutrition disease. Diabetes mellitus is a overnutrition disease. No. 
No, because it is depend on the insulin. Okay, it is not related with the dietary component. Okay. So now what is happen in the atherosclerosis? That is normal artery. There is no deposition of the cholesterol, but in atherosclerotic there is plaque. That is cholesterol which is deposit at inner arterial valve of this arteries, and this become narrowing the tube arteries tube. And due to this patient become hypertensive, it is if totally language neglect kare, to kya hoga? Patient become myocardial infarction, going to myocardial infarction and lastly going to cardiac arrest or heart attack conditions, okay. Now obesity, obesity you know, it is mainly classified on the basis of BMI, BMI, okay. How can we calculate it? Question may be asked, student. Either you take the picture of this pic, uh, this slide, or you will write about BMI. BMI is what? Calculate your body body mass index using the formula. BMI is equal to weight, which is kg upon height in meter square. Calculate karo apna. Hmm, BMI calculate karo. हाइट मालूम नहीं है सो इट इज लेस देन 18.5 इट इज अंडरवेट नॉर्मल 18.5 टू 24.3 नॉर्मल इट इज 25 टू 28.3 ओवरवेट एंड मोर देन 30 इट इज ओबीस ओके एंड इफ द पर्सन बिकम ओबीस दे मे हैव सम अदर डिसीज लाइक अर्थराइटिस इनफर्टिलिटी हार्ट डिसीज बैक पेन डायबिटीज एंड स्ट्रोक सो दिस ऑल अदर डिसीज व्हिच इज हैपनिंग टू दिस ओबीस पेशेंट ओके ओके आर यू अंडरस्टैंड इफ अ पर्सन टेकिंग एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ फूड एक्सेस अमाउंट ऑफ कैलोरी इन देयर डाइट and they are not exhausted by the physical activity what happened then then these are become deposit as in the form of fat this can make the person obese person going to by next step weight gain okay person become obese and after then when the person become obese they increase their bmi they having several other disease okay so these all are the precautions balance your calorie intake control your weight gain and taking the appropriate amount of calorie which is required ye bmi hai iska le sakte hain aap photo kar lena chahte hain Okay, now in the exam, these questions may be asked from this topic. If we can revise and complete this topic, balanced diet, BMR. Now you are able to give the answer of all these questions. This is asked in the examination. Obesity, atherosclerosis, HDA, specific dynamic action. What is specific dynamic action? It is a over value from the calculated value. To metabolize the particular protein. So, KDL na be one ke one kotha ami kani eschi ama kori na vishal protein vishali. Ato protein ne vibhavar noy. We are not a neurologist. You are not going to be a neurologist, right? Yaman na to ke yaman kijo question kora hobe jagalo neurologist the parao jit. Ti parvi na bolte to ke fail kori debe na. Ek debe na. Ek jon ke why je taro volunteer hote parbe ek jon please. Ah, in KDL na examinations always. We will see same thing: attitude, attention. Can you imagine something? Got to get our our patient's attention. No, I am not going to do it. So, I am going to do it. Okay, so comment follow. Got to do it. This will not follow at all the comments. So, attitude. That that that. Ki ragam that. Jisa ap sunche ki na. Show us to get everything important. Whenever you are patient, suppose this is a patient. At least you touch your touch your patient in your shoulder. 
কিরে ভাই কেমন আছিস তো দিস থিংস আর ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইন প্র্যাকটিক্যাল লাইফ এরকম না যে তুই দাঁড়িয়ে আছিস এরকম করে কি তোমার কি হয়েছে এরকম নয় নো অ্যাটাচমেন্ট ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট অ্যাজ এ ক্লিনিশিয়ান্স ওকে ফার্স্ট অফ অল ইন এনি ক্লিনিয়াল লাইফ এক্সামিনেশন ইউ হ্যাভ টু সি অর হ্যাভ টু চেক আর হ্যাভ টু আস্ক অ্যাবাউট দ্য অ্যাটিটিউড অর অ্যাটেনশন উইথ দ্য অ্যাটেনশন অর নট ওয়ান ইম্পর্টেন্ট টেস্ট ইজ ফর দ্য অ্যাটেনশন এনি ওয়ান ডু ইউ নো হাউ ক্যান ইউ চেক দ্য পেশেন্ট ইজ অ্যাটেনটিভ অর নট no tap one test sorry tap a test bola hoy eta ke tap a test ami a b c d bolbo ami ami jay jay bolbo a then tap thik ache c b a five right answer kotha ache so o ekono hoy bojhe ni expression korte pareni otherwise otherwise so inattentive so ei patient ke attention e ni aste gele you have to ask the tap a test please silent noile ami kintu onek kichu bolte parbo na ami jokhon i a bolbo tap thik ache p j c b l a m p a so now it's happening so this is called tap a test a test attentive er jonno the most mostly accepted test all over the world फलो कर
प्रोसीडियर्स प्रोसीडियर्स एकदम एखे थक पेशेंट के बोलते निजे करते लाइट थे सैड थे आसबिना लाइट थे सैड थे कर आगे अलवेज आस्क टू थिंगस डेभलपी आ कि and also the central gazing to exclude the strabismus etc this is very important accommodation reflex kothay kora hoy na na kothay eta ki optic nerve e kora hobe agole bore nerve e kora bhul hoy eta tat kore jokhon exam e ra bole r r r tokhon era accommodation reflex korte arambho kore den then tale koto gulo important points hole ekhane ekta ache important points for olfactory patency number 1 number 2 optic ear gaze any squint any strabismus any nystagmus is present or not right light reflex direct consensual light reflex important chhara jabe na then fundoscope fundoscope kothay kothay debe na ar ki ache bare ঠিক আছে 346 তাই তো নাকি রাই ঠিক আছে 346 346 এর মধ্যে তোরা জানিস যে LR6 SO4 অল নন যে যে মুভমেন্টস অফ অকুলার মাসলস রাইট সুপিরিয়র অবলিক ইনফেরিয়র অবলিক সুপিরিয়র রেকটাস ইনফেরিয়র রেকটাস ল্যাটারাল রেকটাস মিডিয়াল রেকটাস এগুলো তোদের এখন মুভমেন্টে হয়ে গেছে আমি যখন মুভমেন্ট করব তখন আমি এক ডিসটেন্সে বসব आपकी चीज को दो दो करके देखते हैं एक को दो देखते हैं समस्त रकम इंटरप्रिटेशन चेन्ज and that's why this history is very important always anything any examiner asks always take a brief history whatever it may be respiratory distress what is the cranial nerve what is the motor system is there any reflex je bhai tumi keno esto ki ki oshubidha tomar any problem is there so 346 er modhe identically isolatically jiggesh kora jiggesh kora hoy khabar dewar jonno tumi abduction se টেস্ট করো কিছু বললই না কি 6 কিছু বললেন এই ডো দা ক্রানিয়াল নাভ ক্রানিয়াল নাভ অ্যাবডুসেন্স তার মানে কি ল্যাটারাল রেকটাস আছে এল6 টেস্ট করো মানে সাট করে আমি মিডলে নিয়ে আসব আগে দেন আমি ওকে বলবো আমার আঙ্গুল ফলো করতে মাথায় হাত রাখতে পারি বা پیشنট কে ডিরেকশন দিতে পারি যে ইউ ডোন্ট মুভ জাস্ট ফলো দা আই বলস আই মে মাই ফিঙ্গার এন্ড মুভ ইওর আই বলস তুমি চোখ সরাও हार सोडियो ना, भाई अलम कोई रख। At this stage, I think it will be better for you to sit here and again this way and this movement. इटर कोनो particularly कुताव खूब ऐड भालो कोडे बोला ने, आमी एकाने रखूँ। एमोन जगह ते रखूँ, there is no problem of any accommodation reflex। आमे तो देख देखता हूँ तो तो problem हो बेटा। Let us suppose a distance and then move this. Yes, that is a ল্যাটারাল লেক্সাস এই কারণে জিজ্ঞেস করে কার ল্যাটারাল লেক্সাস কার মিডিয়াল লেক্সাস এই ভাবে যাবে হ্যাঁ সো যারা এগুলো ফলো করছিস বা নিয়েদের মধ্যে টেস্ট করছিস ইজ গুড যারা করছিস না তারা কিন্তু পরীক্ষা হলে ফাম্বেল করবি আর এত টাইম নেই কেউ কিন্তু অ্যানসার বলবে না যে এটা কর ওটা কর ক্লিনিক্যাল एग्जामिनेशनে অনেক নাম্বার থাকে ক্লিনিক্যাল एग्जामिनेशनে যদি ফুল মার্কসের কাছাকাছিও পাওয়া যায় তাহলে প্র্যাকটিক্যালের অন্যগুলোর সঙ্গে অ্যাডজাস্টমেন্টও হয় प्रत्येकते पेशेंट 
কোনো অসুবিধা নেই বাট বোট নট একটা টাইম ফিক্স করে নিবি যে আমি এক ঘন্টা ওপিটি দিব তারপর আমি বাড়িতে এসে পড়বো কিছুই জানি না আমি ওপিটি দিয়ে চলে গেলাম শিখবি আর ভুল কো রিলেশনস ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট নাও তিন চার ছয় কি হলো অ্যাকোমোডেশন রিফ্লেক্স এখানে হবে এল আর সিক্স হঠাৎ করে বললো এল আর সিক্স বা বললো যে আমার ইয়ে করো এসো ফোর আমার ফোর ইয়ে করো চকলেট টেস্ট করো তাহলে আমি সুপিরিয়র অব্লিক করবো তাহলে আমাকে কি করতে হবে সুপিরিয়র মানে সবসময় ভাবা যায় উপরে না তার সুপিরিয়র অব্লিক হ্যাঁ সো আমি কখনোই একবারের জন্য ইফ এক্সামিনার আক্স টেস্ট ফর দ্য টকলিয়ার না কেনিয়ার নাম দেন নেভার 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 এভার মুভ ইউর ফিঙ্গার টু আপওয়ার্ড একবারই চান্স দেবে सेंट्रल लाइन साइड एन ये जा एंड देन मूव दिस दिस इज अ ट्रिक्स एक ना जी एक ना जो एग्जाम में लगी धोर बेटे सो थ्री फोर सिक्स ऑलमोस्ट गोन आखिर जो आजे आमाने बोचे ना एकोमोडेशन रिफ्लेक्स करो जानी सब एकोमोडेशन पे जीएस करे बावनिक समय जीएस काम करते बारे बट वहीं ने बार एकोमोडेशन रिफ्लेक्स भी लाख
simultaneously place this place this sundor pa ache shokto ek amar je hat jay na to puro crash kore debe pura and then very good nahi to toro bhalo bolte hobe later ami je ready kor and movement okay obstruct this hagar edik edik kor ami edik korbo tu edik kor yes good pressure so very good function mastication khatam trigeminal e arpis sun ar kichu ache ache bol very good porche tar mane o jaw ja grip samoy jis kore eta jaw ja grip flex hate diye korte paris muk ta ha korbi always erokom noy thakle erokom tui thak thak thukchis agei bol karon ki karon amra dekhte chaichi ki je movements of the jaw in upward position in case of upper motor neural lesion this is a characteristic sign of the brisk jar of the jaw tale agar tak ha agar tak ei ami oke bolechilam hammer ta niye aste hammer ta niye ashe so in that case ha kar kache ache hammer ei du diker brain du diker akte akte jai nai bolo ei gulo hocche cortex सपोज आई एम एक्सामिन मन कर रेफ्टईडर मोटर निशन देखते चाहिए मोटर निशन लेफ्ट हैंड रो नाउ द मोटर फाइवर मोटर कटेक्स दिक्कत नाना रकम सेंटर आज दुई मोटर मोटर कटेक्स सब गो नहीं उससे बाली तले एनी लिसन फ्रॉम द मोटर कॉर्टेक अप तू द एंट्री हॉन्ड सेल एनी होय दिस इज कॉल्ड अपर मोटर न्यूरल लिसन लाइक कौन कौन डीज़ होते हैं बारे अनेक के रिलेटिव बेला ची सीवी एमएच हेमोरेजिक स्ट्रोक हम्म अब आपने बोला सिर्फ ट्रॉमाटिक इंजरी ट्रॉमाटिक इंजरी आह बाल कौन ऑस्पिटल এখানে অনেক স্ট্রাকচার আছে ইন্টারনাল ক্যাপসুল আছে তো সব পেরোবে পেরিয়ে আমাদের ব্রেন স্টেমে আসবে দেন যেই ব্রেন স্টেমের কাছে এসে মিড ব্রেন পন্স মেডালা দেন ডেকুসিট চেঞ্জেস ইনটু দেন সোজা নামবে অ্যান্টেরিয়র হর্ন সেল আমি যদি এখান থেকে বলতে যাই তাহলে আমি সার্ভাইকাল গ্যাংলিয়া নিয়ে আসবো সার্ভাইকাল থেকে এখানে আমার সার্ভাইকাল রিজিয়নে এসে আমার অ্যান্টেরিয়র হর্ন সেল অফ দা স্পাইনাল মানে গ্রে গ্রে ম্যাটারে আসছে স্পাইনাল কর্ডে আসছে কারণ এ কি upper motor neural lesion basically compromise of number 1 upper motor neural lesion ki upper motor neural uh, neurons is compromised to of cortico cortico spinal bulb sabse bhalo chhe cortico reticulo spinal number 1 number 2 hocche cortico valva ei jinish ta ki jinish এই দুটো ট্র্যাক নিয়ে বিশেষ বিশেষ তো পড়া নিশ্চয়ই তো হয়েছে তাই তো জানিস তো না কিলে হ্যাঁ কই থাকি আছে যে আপার মোটর নিউরন মিন্স দিস টু থিং যেখানে থাকি না কারণ সারা জীবনে কখনো ভুলিস না যদি এটা মনে রাখতে অসুবিধা হয় তাহলে সিম্পল কর্টিকো স্পাইনাল গুলো দিতে অসুবিধা হচ্ছে সিম্পল কর্টিকো স্পাইনাল এন্ড কর্টিকো বালভা কর্টিকো বালভার মিন্স মোটর কর্টেক্স থেকে এসে ক্রেনিয়াল নার্ভের সঙ্গে যুক্ত ক্রেনিয়াল নার্ভ নিউক্লিয়ার मीस कटिको पालबा पालबार मीन्स क्रेनियल 
তাহলে এই যে আমরা বলি না যে সিউডো বালবার পলসি বালবার পলসি দ্যাটস আর কামিং অন এই জজ আর রিফ্লেক্স আপার মোটর নিউরাল লিগনিশনস কেন হচ্ছে তার কারণ হচ্ছে কি এইখানে দেখা এখানে ফিফথ ক্যানিয়ার লার্ভের আমার ইনজুরি বা এনি হ্যাভ টু টিউমার এনি লিসেন ইজ হ্যাপেনিং देयर কজ আমি এখন বলতে যাব না কজ বলতে গেলে পুরো ক্লাস ফিনিশ আপার মোটর নিউরন মেইনস কর্টিকোস্পাইনাল কর্টিকো বল ভোলার কোন জায়গা আপার মোটর নিউরন ইজ আপ টু দা অ্যান্টেরিয়র হর্ন সেল ভোলার কোন কোন রকম কোন জায়গা নেই লোয়ার মোটর নিউরন ইজ অন দা অ্যান্টেরিয়র হর্ন সেল আপ টু দা পেরিফেরি কি পেরিফেরি মাসেল তাই তো মাসেলে কি করে কাজ করে জানিস হ্যাঁ কি ভাবে করে হ্যাঁ देखे नहीं পেসেন্টের টোন ঠিক নেই পেসেন্ট স্পেসিসিটি না রিজিডিটি আমি তাই জানি না আমি ঢক ঢক করে ঢুকতে আরম্ভ করি নো তাহলে ফার্স্ট হ্যান্ডস এক এক্সপোজ আছে হ্যাঁ জাস্ট এখানে সাপোর্ট টোন দেখছি আমি এন্ড দেন গ্যাজুয়ালি কি নাম তোমার কোথায় থাকো মুভমেন্ট ওকে বলবো আমি তুমি আমার হাতটা সমস্ত ভার আমার হাতের উপর ছেড়ে দাও ছেড়ে দাও ছেড়ে দিই আমি দুটো জয়েন্ট দেখব একটা আছে এখানে একটা আছে এক শোল্ডার দেখছি আর দেখব সেটা আছে রিস্ট আমার টোন দেখা শেষ मासल so whenever we stuck the biceps it is called that is it called ki bole eta ke deep tendon reflex this is a misnomer deep tendon reflex is a misnomer eta ke bola uchit basically muscle stretch reflex keno deep tendon reflex eta keno bole ami jani na kintu in every in neurological books it is expressed that this is a muscle stretch reflex সাপোজ মনে করো আমি ওকে বললাম যে অনেকগুলো বই দিলাম ধরে দাও অনেকগুলো বই দিছি একটা দিলাম আর একটা দিলাম তাহলে আমার কোথায় টেনশন নম্বর হচ্ছে তাহলে যদি আমার এরকম একটা বাইসেপস একটা মাসেল হয় আমি আগেও বলেছি আমি ভালো আঁকতে পারি তাহলে এরকম যদি হয় একটা মাসেল মনে করা আছে আর এইটা হচ্ছে এই কি একটা বলছিল এক্সট্রা ফিউজার ফাইবার এটা এক্সট্রা ফিউজার ফিউজার ইন্টারফেস অফ পেপার এখানে নেই দেন মাসেল স্পিন্ডল মাসেল স্পিন্ডল ইজ देयर এন্ড দেন দিস ইজ আ টেন্ডন দিস ইজ আ টেন্ডন এই টেন্ডনের মধ্যে কি আছে গলগি অর্গান তাই তো পড়েছিস কি না জানিস না হ্যাঁ করেছিস যে এক্সট্রা ফিউজার ফাইজার ফাইবারের সঙ্গেই তো কানেকশন হবে টেন্ডনের তাহলে এটা আমার টেন্ডন মানে এটা এক্সট্রা ফাই এক্সট্রা ফিউজার ফাইবার এটা হচ্ছে এক্সট্রা ফিউজার ফাইবার এন্ড দিস ইজ interfusor fiber connected to the muscle spindle remember always that when i ask any reflex and the reflex is not coming out we always do a enforcement test that is called gender six maneuvers what does that mean that means in case of upper limb we clinch our teeth on the jaw our lower limb is only half clamp eta kena kora hoy to increase the ej মাসেল স্পিন্ডল অ্যাক্টিভিটিটাকে বাড়ানো হয় তাহলে জিনিসটা কি হয় মনে করে কি আমি ওইকে আমি টেন্ডনের মত এর দিয়ে দিছি বই একটা দুটো নিয়ে না বই তার যদি দরকার থাকে দিচ্ছি 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 আর দিয়েই যাচ্ছে যেমন আছে গাইটন গ্যারন সব দিয়ে দিছে আর যেমন আছে আলটিমেটলি ওয়ান টাইম উইল হ্যাপেন দ্যাট ও ফেল কেন ফেলবে কেন কেন হলো ফ্যাটিক 
in case of lower motor neurulation. This is a characteristic sign of lower motor neurulation. Ki bhabe expose korbo and then tap over the group of muscle. Eram tap korle twitching movement hobe. Keno hobe jodi time pai tale tale bolchi keno hobe. Eram korbo, eram korbo, eram korbo, eram korbo. Jodi ami lower limb e koi lower limb e koi fasciculation thakte parbo. My question is that fasciculation and fibrillation difference ki? Both are same. Remember always it are any tricky questions. Fasciculation is seen in clinical and fibrillation is seen in the EMG. Electromyogram fasciculation and response like a high fibrillation. Not in our body. So fasciculation, fibrillations, same thing. One is clinically detected by tapping. And then we see the local twitching movement. Can Lower motor neurulation is not a good thing. It 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 is not a Then, muscle will regenerate or corporation, incorporation of multiple ACTH receptor all throughout the muscle. Sab Jaga ACTH receptor in Corporal Movement. Ultimately, Kyo, Shodia Mesicuratu. Shodia Mesicuratu. The threshold level Kyo. Kyo, our accent potential, threshold potential, then muscle contraction. Taito, according to Thai policy. Kyo, potential, threshold the cross colo, then our muscle contraction of it. The Lama threshold level, Amatu Kumeyai, Patri. The muscle twitch due to the incorporation of this fasciculation. Fibrillation fasciculation is the same. It is a feature of lower motor neurosis. Fifth cranial nerve is the same. The clinic is the same. Now, fifth cranial nerve. Then, sixth to the seventh cranial nerve. Our say mixed, mixed means sensory and motor, facial now, facial now is sensory means tongue, both are anterior to two third. We saw both the yasna, a gulu both the Japoni Javi, one team penalty, two take put high to level, a reflex ball, a pathway ball, a jiggers equal one another. Simple genius, simple of the world. This is a sensory supply, a say anterior two third, we will go for the test, for the bitter test of sweet sweets, everything. Then motor. Motor and motor port portal. Hapazard noy. Kiave Gurbi, Akta Chinta, Pope Chinta, Kihawe, Urikai Kihawe. The leg and Kiave, frontalis, occipito, frontalis, occipito frontalis, Alagoreson, Kuno Birto de Juni, Aja Birotoche, Kigaje Ki at a gate, Kivale. I take in Amajana, it was a last night. Hey, this one. The key holo, a gate holo, a waiter. Built it. But chuck one the world. Are okay, Volvo? Just my holo. I tested Judica of Chosma Thake, Chosma Colabina. Borom asked him, asked him of her that whether you are using any contact lens or any uh, spectacles you, you have or not. Jodi Thake, use it. Otherwise, poor failure. Any eye test, Choki does not have to do the Kuru, not the Buller. Okay, now Tale Ami Putoge, Chipitago, the Amgur of the Divina. On the world, Jore, Jore on the weather. Hey, so this is Kivale Okuli, a Chokhagalati, Etaholo, Etaholo, Etah, then Hasi. Leave it a penalty. Tit the Katabolo, Bahastable. 
then go for the proper test ei khane age jora lagabo pa jora lagana holo then chok open kore koto second 30 second prottekta important 30 second then chok bondho kore 30 second jokhon ami chok bondho kore korbo uthobo jeta korlam seta kor pa ta jora pa jora and add the cross so just straight চোখ বন্ধ করো এই তাহলে এক্সামিনারকে দেখাতে হবে ইউ আর কনসাস अबाउट দিওর پیشنট এরকম না যে তুমি দাঁড়িয়ে আছিস হ্যাঁ চোখ বন্ধ করো ভাগ করে গিয়ে পড়ো তাহলে এসএসসি লে একটা কেস নিয়ে হয়ে যাবে আরেকটা কেস বুঝে পড় সো সেন্সরি অ্যাটেক্সিয়া সেরিবিলার অ্যাটেক্সিয়া ডিফারেন্সিয়েশন হবে আরেকটা জিনিস করা যায় তুমি হয়তো জানি না এগুলো বলা ঠিক ভাবে জানি না তুমি যে সারপেন্ট রোমবাক টেস্ট फिर <laughs> চোখ বন্ধ করে দিছি তাহলে 30 সেকেন্ড রিমেম্বার 30 সেকেন্ড টাইম না দিলো এক্সামিনারকে মুখে বলবি স্যার এইভাবে 30 সেকেন্ড দেই বাস এনাফ এই কথাগুলো ইম্পর্টেন্ট এখানে আর কিছু আছে ব্যালেন্সের ছাড়া তাহলে কান থেকে আমাদের ব্যালেন্স হয় তাই তো এইখানে তো আরেকটা টেস্ট করতে হয় ব্যালেন্সে দ্যাট ইজ আ নিস্টেক মাস প্রেজেন্ট অর নট এনি কে এইট কেনিয়ান না پیشنট মে কমপ্লেইন উইথ আ নিস্টেক মাস লাইক মুভমেন্ট ভমিটিং ভাটাইগো সেটা দেখবার জন্য আমার ক্লাসে কেউ কেউ দেখেছিস পেটে আগে শুই দিতে হবে পেটে পেটে শুয়ে যে এন্ডটা আছে সেই এন্ডে ওকে সাডেনলি ফল করবে ওকে আগে এক্সপ্লেইন করতে হবে সাডেনলি ফল এন্ড দেন মুভ দা হেড ইন অপোজিট সাইড ইফ देयर इज अ মিস্টেক মাস দা মিস্টেক মাস ওখানে পাওয়া যায় টু এন্ড ফোর মুভমেন্ট অফ আই এরকম করে ঝোড়ালাম নিয়ে এরকম করে দাও তাহলে মিস্টেক মাস যদি থাকে then you have to ask your patient whether you are feeling any type of dizziness gucche nichu mata gucche na ki ba chai dik gucche na dutu opposite dutu onno jinish ami gucchi na amar chai dik sob gucche sei jabe jacchi na ha dutui complain kore amar kache amar ekta bachcha chilo boli kothay kothay bachcha ta ei bolpuri patient she has to have severe headache nei severe headache mane lagha jacche na kai to city 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 sao hoye ache then ka come come to me oh relax e ache kono oshubidha nai to paracetamol kheche আমি বলছি ঠিক আছে চলো দেখি একটু সাডেনলি ও বলে আমার সব ঘুরছে মাথা ঘুরছে আমি কি ঘুরছে হ্যান্ডটা ঘুরছে বলো না হ্যান্ড ঘুরছে ঘুরছে না আপনি উপরে চলে গেছেন হ্যান্ড নিচে চলে গেছে দ্যাট मींस दैट इज अ সাইকোলজিক্যাল ইমপ্যাক্ট ইজ देयर কখনো এটা হবে না আপনি উপরে চলে গেছেন ইট ইজ ভেরি ইজি হ্যাঁ এর অপশন পাবি তো না তার মানে পেশেন্ট কে আবার কাউন্সিলিং করে দেখা গেল যে প্যারেন্টস এর মধ্যে রিলেশনস ইজ নট গুড এট অল family problems is there so he is getting the attention crave fever see i am attention dik koi bhule bara khao wa ma koi bhuliye rate bela te shanto mone se geche kono oshubidha nai they are fine now he is my long term patient ki amar amar patient hoye magic kichu na ekta history so these things are very important in toke divorce korar jonno onek ache onek rokom bolo ekhane betha korchhe ekhane betha korchhe you have to think you have to rationally think eta ki betha hote pare এরকম জিনিসটা হতে পারে নাকি তাহলে হতে পারে তাহলে কি কি আছে ওখানে হোয়াট ইজ দ্যাট দ্যাটস হোয়াই ইউ আর ট্রেনিং ফ্রম দা অ্যানাটমি ট্রেনিং ফ্রম দা ফিজিওলজি বায়োকেমিস্ট্রি ইজ मोस्टলি ইন দা প্র্যাকটিক্যাল লেভেল ইন দা ল্যাব আমার ক্লিনিক্যালি আমার বায়োকেমিস্ট্রি খুব বেশি হেল্প করবে না বাট হোয়েন এর রিপোর্ট উইল কাম বেসিক্যালি ব্লাড রিপোর্ট ইউরিন রিপোর্ট স্টুল রিপোর্ট দ্যাট উইল হেল্পফুল ফর আস সো নাও এইট ইজ কমপ্লিট নাও 9 10 11 12 কে কথা বলছিস ভালো করে বল তুই আমি দেখে নিচ্ছি তোকে ভালো করে বল एग्जामिनर तो आमी आची, I will check it. So, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, nine, ten, eleven, twelve साहूं तो एक्स रे कराऊं जी. Before that, ten, that means figures is must before. क्या नो? कारण gag reflex. Gag reflex is if afferent and efferent is afferent is by figures. Efferent is by glossopharyngeal. So whenever you are telling that R, what R? R हम नहीं नहीं. Thoughts देखो. मुखे हाँ करो जीप बेर करो 
জিপ বের করো বড় করে আরো বড় দেন সো এই আরস্টার মুভমেন্টটাই হচ্ছে লস অফ এঞ্জেলের কাজ and that is also coming in the gag replace ala kore kichu noy gag ta ki jinish posture wale ami touch korbo that means ami biggest case stimulate korbo then doso friend je lamar different ds e contraction korlo pore uthlo to re to see the brain stem bolechilam upper motor neural lesion er dutu part cortico spinal and cortico bulbar so when patient is unconscious patient is well recovery is not brain stem function is not gag reflex we invariably do in the icu and pis to see uh, tongue depressor the amra korte parbo whether present or not ata ache all side effects that is that is also important so if jodi time pai matro communicate korte paris e gulo ami bolte thakbo bolar kono shesh nei tale 9 10 11 12 er modhe amar 9 10 11 er modhe spinal axis spasmic only two things that is the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid trapezius mane ami pichon theke jabo tola chesta karo bolo so trapezius is fine and then come forward and then edike thelbi ami edike korbo ha tale kon muscle ta korbo hat edike muscle ta ero kore hat dite hobe nele noy ulto dike ha so in this way sternocleidomastoid and trapezius done then hypoglossal muscle hypoglossal muscle jokhon dekho mane 12 jokhon dekho tan age ber korbo ber kor kono movement ache na ki dekho ektu age bolechilo tole fibrillation oneke bole ei term ta fibrillation basically je emg finding fibrillation basically je emg finding this is a fasciculation you can tell fasciculation we are seeing there's a fasciculation and whatever is a reading in the emg that's electromyocardiogram that is called a electromyogram not my cardiogram there is a myogram emg that is the fibrillations okay the spike will be there and so movement movement got uh, explain it and then tongue and pressure muscle ki jor ache na ache if it is deviated uvula is deviated dekhchi sa korle dekhi ek dikhe deviated that means ekane facial nerve theke ektu alada when uvula is shifted to that side that means there is a disease side that is the disease side ipsilateral side eta kintu tora pabi onek shomoy ami boli je ibula e bekhoy ba ibula is a bifid the patient kono to bolte hobe ei tomar ibula ta kintu bifid ache bifid er kichu problem ache kichu somoshya ache related thake onek shomoy bifid ibula onek kichu syndrome hoy shegulo onek suspect hoy shegulo dekhi jacchi na so any questions up to this is very easy that is a cranial nerve every each and every student will get joto gulo ami theory class pabo to some extent i go for a some clinical tests eta amare bola hoyeche je ekta ero polish koro polishing cholche ar kichu na janis tora shob but the basis what you why, uh, why you are dealing with the cranial nerves upper motor neural lesions lower motor neural lesions pseudo valvular palsy pyramidal tract extra pyramidal lesions egulo ekta jante hobe tale likhte o subidha hobe tale likhte o subidha hobe কোন কনসেপ্ট আপার মোটর রিলেশনস কি কোন যা কিছু क्वेश्चन আসবে এই যে ছবি একে বলতে পারিস যে এনি রিলেশন फ्रॉम দা কর্টেক্স অপোজিট কর্টেক্স বেসিক্যালি যদি আমার রাইটে প্রবলেম থাকে তাহলে леফটে আমার তাহলে কর্টেক্স থেকে বের হচ্ছে এন্ড দেন ডিকুসিট ইন দা ইন্টারনাল লেভেল ইন্টারনাল ক্যাপসুল লেভেল এই ইন্টারক্যাপসুল দেন মিড ব্যান্ড এন্ড স্টেম বেন্ডস লেভেলে ডিকুসিশন এন্ড আপ টু দা সার্ভাইকাল গ্যাংলিয়ন এন্ড দেন এন্টার হন সেলস এন্ড আউট ইন হন সেলস फ्रॉम देयर লোয়ার মোটর রিলেশন স্টার্টস এন্ড দিস হ্যাপেন্স এন্ড দা মাসল always remember this is not the mishna bar that is a deep tendon reflex deep tendon reflex no this is called muscle stretch reflex ami jokhon tap korchi tokhon muscle ke stretch korchi that stretching effect is called stimulation from there is also stimulation for the muscle spindle and by the ia it stimulate the alpha motor neuron this stuff this stuff mean action body tak 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 kore plus 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 then this will stimulate to the contractions now if any books is there or para eat there or jaro there or aro there or for it that's why this is the golgi tendon theke ekhan theke ekta reflex pathway kaaj kore that is inter neuron related and inter related means the inhibitory remember all right inhibitory means inhibition so tu rate ghumash na ha tu rate ghumai na so it ta kara okay so 
in this way upper motor neuron cell lower motor neuron cell to be decided and day by day you will gain in confidence that neural cases will find out any dense palsy any facial facial palsy any stroke patient cv patient they can pavi how do you in that case you have to detect the tone etc uh, time is on so next class high sensory and motor kit ta bolbo reflex e kichu kichu bolbo wait wait to see kyu kyu bolchis je amake ke onek onek ki bolechi je amra ki bole d jack dekhi amra movement hoye er movement no this is a contraction of the body shape so exposure is fast eta dekhbe ekta and always violet so these things are important keep in mind raja bollam je je gulo point bollam jodi miss ho jay nijera bhalo kore por always read the good books that means hutchinson macloids chara clinically kono boi in the last class what i discussed about health promotional activities in individual level tai to mone ache what i discussed already forgotten ha mone nei acha Uh, I have taken the class in the last week or? Huh? Oh, class still one day in tower. Okay. So actually, what happened? Why do we organize different health promotional activities? There are different methods. Please listen to me. Active listening is required. Okay. Better not to go through your mobile right now. Once the class will over, please, then we will go through. Silent question. Sorry. Okay. Very good. Then, when we have to take or organize any health personal activities, especially in a group situation, there are different methods. These are called the health personal method. that will be applicable will organizing organizing any health promotional activities in group situations or in family situations okay that such type of methods is group discuss but this is not new terminology to any of you you have heard the name group discussion actually it is considered as a very effective methods of health promotions where people learn by exchanging their views and thoughts or experiences in group discussion every participant have the opportunity to participate next to be effective if you want to be more effective as far as the group methods is or group discussion is concerned the size of the group should not be too small like you should not be too large the minimum number should be preferably 6 and maximum number should preferably be 12 larger the group less the participation and so discuss if the group is large what will happen everybody will not get the opportunity to participate in the discussion so if they do not get the opportunity to participate they cannot be able to exchange their views exchange their experiences exchange their thoughts for the reasons we try to restrict the group as far as the number is concerned minimum 6 maximum 12 so that they can everybody can have the opportunity to participate the talk along with showing visual aids to take about 20 minutes that means for discussions only no group discussion should be long, longer than or longer than 20 minutes okay we will discuss among themselves for 20 minutes then again 20 minutes roughly should be allowed for questions and discussions is it clear two points number one is group discussion is effective methods because everybody have the opportunity to exchange their views and thoughts and experiences they they can learn by sharing their experiences and next one is the unique method when each and every participant have the opportunity to participate and the number minimum number will be the maximum good okay next now this is the sketch of the group discussions 
the sketch or the shape of the group discussion is not there. This will be Sakura. In the middle, the leaders will be there and surrounding the leaders, participants will be there. Usually what happens you see, suppose the leader along with the members discuss among themselves and according to the need of the group members, a uh, topics will be chosen. Once the topics will be chosen, then the leaders usually prepare some questions. Some questions are close ended, some questions are open ended. In our terms, sometimes we call it high, end, high order question and low order questions. The leader used to throw a high order question. High order question means open ended question. Open ended question means the answers will be more and more. The answers cannot be completed in one sentence. So, leader will throw the questions and then the members will discuss among themselves about these questions. One by way, one they will ask questions and discussion will be going on. Then once the objective will be over, then it will be finished, then the question answer period will start. Next, how to conduct a group discussion? Number one. Step 1, selecting a topic based on the group need that I told you. Next one, conducting correct and up to date information about the topics. Say for example, if we arrange a topics that screening of NCD, screening for non communicable diseases. Okay. If people require, yes it is important, then we will choose the topics. Then only what we should do, we should choose the topics or select the topics according to the need of the members. Okay. Then we have to collect all the information, up to date information about the NCD, non communicable diseases, what are the risk factors, what are the prevailing pattern, how many persons are suffering who are suffering more, what are the factors, all these things, we have to collect information about that because we should have up to date knowledge. Okay, then we can able to discuss. Then on the basis of that we have to prepare a lesson plan. Lesson plan means minimum 3 or 4 points will be there, number 1, what the participant should know or understand. Then what is NCD, how far they should know, next one. What are the points, main points that will be discussed during the group discussion? And number third, what are the questions? According to the sequence of the questions, we have to arrange the questions, then we have to ask one by one. Okay. Then the visual aids or the audiovisual aids to be used, whether how many audiovisual aids, what audiovisual aids should be used during the group discussion that we have to plan. Step four, fixing suitable time suitable date and suitable place as will be convenient for the participant where there will be no noise, where there will be no extreme temperature, there will be too much cold or too heat. Okay. Next step 5 conducting the discussions and checking the understanding by asking questions in the end when they will discuss. So, leader will follow at the same time along with the leader one reporter will be there. Okay. They will observe, then they will ask questions for clarification whether the participants have understood or not. And next one is step number 6, summarize the whole session. Last step, convey the regards as well as the thanks to each and every participants including the persons who have assisted to organize the group discussion sessions. This is all about group discussion. Next, panel discussion. Perhaps this is not new at to you, panel discussion. In the TV you have heard, you did not see, you did not observe, panel discussion, panel discussion. Panel means what? Panel means panel lost to a panel to a What is this? That the name of the member according to the sequence, they are all the same things, panel discussion, when a group of people, when a knowledgeable people, when a, when a skilled
skillful person discuss an issue among themselves in front of the audience. You see, it is a educational methods for small group of 4 to 6 or maybe 8. Get around the table, there will be a table, get around the table or sit around the table in the presence of the audience and discuss among themselves the topics or subjects which is relevant to the audience and in which the panelist or the panel members have specialized knowledge or skills. Clear? This is panel discussions. Next. It is a two and fro discussions, two and four discussions among the panel members, not with the audience. Audience will be there. They will simply listen what the panelists are discussing among themselves. Two and fro discussions among the panel members touching or covering almost all the topics, all, all aspects of the topics. And the audience appreciate the same by only listening. Okay. But when it will be organized or when it should be organized? It should be organized when the topic is too large, too complicated one and need clarification from different corner, from different skillful persons. And next one, when a group of experts are available. Next. This is a sketch of, simple sketch of panel discussion. What I have told you, the same things I am repeating here. Okay. So, this is the table. Okay. In the middle, one moderator will be there. The left hand side, it is shown. How many panelists in the left hand side? Four. And in the right hand side, four. Total, eight panelists are there. One moderator is there. And their audience will be there. So, they will discuss among themselves. They means like this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has been shown. One may ask questions not to 2, not to 3, not to 4. One may ask questions to 5, 5 may ask questions to 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Likewise, crosswise, discuss. Okay. In this way, they will ask, one person will ask questions to other side and other side members may ask, will ask questions to the next side panelists. In this discussions will be going on until and unless the topics is covered. Clear? Suppose all are knowledgeable person, panelists are knowledgeable person, all are the expertise, same expertise, supposing that, then Pore, master pore, master pore kurven. All as knowledgeable person, suppose member number one have asked one question that is relevant to question number two, panel, panelist number five or six or seven. Okay. But panelist number one is not satisfied by the answer given by either five or six. In this way, controversy may arise. Is it so? Because all are having equal status. Equal knowledge, they think at least. Okay. But suppose you three are in equal status, one is asking questions to another, but she is not satisfied by the answers given by another student. Now I can act as a moderator. So, moderator is the such person who can reconcile, who can settle the matter. Argument will be there, but to settle down the argument, not to quarrel, okay, in that stage. You will not allow to reach, then you will settle the matter by interventions. Moderator. Moderator will answer the questions. Okay. Next. What are the prerequisites of panel discussions? Arrangement of room must be there. Number one. Number two, inviting the moderator and the panelist. Okay, prerequisite of panel discussion. If you want to organize a panel discussion, what things you should see? Number one, arrangement of the room, where the discussion will be held. Number two, inviting the moderator and other panel members in advance. What things we have to inform to the panelist at the moderator, number on the topics, then about the date, about the time, about the venue. How to conduct the group, I mean panel 
and discussion. Already I have told, but this is the repetition. You see, in a panel discussion, the panel consists of a chairperson or moderators and put to a speakers or panelists to sit and discuss a given problem in the front of the audience or group of audience. Next, the chairperson will, the moderator or chairperson will open the sessions, welcome the group and introduce the group means chair audience, introduce the speakers who are experts on the subjects. Then, the moderator will introduce the topic briefly and invite this panel members here. There are no set of speeches like lecture like this. There is no set of speeches. What will happen? But only informal discussions among the panel speakers. Only topics will be given. Okay. Then whatever questions will arise in their mind according to the need of the audience. They are here to fulfill the need of the audience. They will discuss among themselves surrounding the topics. Suppose I told you that for example NCD is the topic. Okay. So, regarding NCD, they will discuss among themselves what is NCD, what are the risk factors of NCD, what a person can do if there are some risk factors. All these things one by one they will discuss among themselves. The discussion is spontaneous and natural, not artificial like that. That I have prepared one subject, one point and I will show it. Not like that. Just discuss. That is why it is called informal discussion. After the subject has been discussed by the panelist, the audience is invited to raise questions, okay, to take part. This is called panel forum. So, if we think or if we ask that this panel discussion, the group discussions first I have discussed, is it one way or two way? Communication is two way because all are part. But here in panel discussion, this is one way, two way, panel forum. How we, can how, we can how we can demarcate one way to a, there is a dash that is the floor, okay. In the floor, the audience will be there, in the dash, the experts will be there. When there is an exchange of views and thoughts or opinions between this dash and audience, then it is always two way, otherwise it is one way. Panel discussion is one way because the panelists were discussing among themselves within the dash, okay. They are not allowed, that means the audience are not allowed to share during panel discussion. But when it will open, then it will become a panel discussion forum. Then conclusions and if properly planned and guided by the moderator, panel discussion can be effective method of health communications for promoting health. Next. This is also one of the method of health promotion. If you want to promote health, if you want to organize any health promotional activities, then we can opt symposium as a method of health promotion. But yes, in the community level, hello, Kawa. In the community level, this symposium is may not that much effective, but in the classroom situations, in the audi in the auditorium, this type of symposium is very helpful to for promotion of health of the people. Okay. Symposium, the series of speeches or lectures by the experts. Usually three to five, but this number, three to five, maybe four, maybe five, maybe six, maybe three. It depends upon the topics, how long, how large the topics is. The topics is large one, the number of speakers. Usually the research persons will be more. Say for example, NCD is first subjects, first topics, okay. Under NCD, so many diseases are there or if we say communicable disease or if we say vector bound disease, if we say water bound disease. If we say airborne disease, so like this, if the topics is like that, then we can invite 4, 5, 6 number of speakers, experts. 
So, symposium is a series of speeches by the experts 3 to 5 on selected subjects at by requirement of the audience. There is no further discussion on the subject by the experts like panel discussion. Okay. If we allow the audience to take part once the symposium is over then it is called symposium forum. This is called forum means open discussion. When the audience will take part then it is called symposium forum. In the end audience in the end the audience may raise questions and contribute to the symposium then it is called symposium forum. Okay. That is all about the symposium. Next workshop. Perhaps you have heard the name workshop. Have you definitely you heard the name workshop? Hi. Workshop. Workshop means planning or acquiring the skills. Say for example, workshop is there in, in each uh, technical session, technical things workshops will be there in computer workshops, in machinery workshops, same thing nothing but. Workshop consists of series of meeting, nothing but, okay. Final conduct, series of meetings one after another, okay. Then the participant here. The participant in a workshop, so many persons will be there, maybe 50, maybe 60, maybe 70, maybe 100. Uh, definitely topics will be there, okay. The workshop is meant for plenary sessions, okay. What to do in the future, how to solve a problem, for the reasons we used to conduct a workshop, not like seminar, not like symposium, okay. We just plan for a workshop to work out the solutions, to solve the problems. Say for example, the uh, present situations, the present educational situation or the present curricula of this MBBS, present curricula of the MBBS and how it can be developed, okay. Development of the curriculum of MBBS course that is ATOM, the workshops. The participants are divided into small groups and each group chooses a leader and they are put here. Here you see when we conduct a workshop, so we invite different professionals. Say for example, one from anatomy or two from anatomy, two from physiology, two from community medicine, two from biochemistry. So all the experts, forensic department, surgery, so all experts will be there. Then only we can moderate or update the MBBS curriculum. So this is a workshop. That's why. Many participants will be invited. Once they will take part in the workshops, we can divide these number of participants in small group. Say for example, if there are 100, so we can divide into 10 small groups. Each should consist the member from each and every specific academic, specific department. Then we them a group form a group and they will discuss among themselves. Then at the end again they will come to the dash, they will present their findings, they will present their um, deliberations, they will present their conclusions, what they should do, what we should do, what things we should include, how to modify of this curriculum. Each group solves a part of the problem or provide recommendations with the help of the experts. Next, this is role play. One of the most important method for modifying the behavior of the community or promotion of health. Perhaps you have heard the name of the role play. It is similar to drama. It is similar to drama, not drama, but it is like a drama. It is called socio drama. Okay. Is the role play or socio drama is the acting out of real life situation. What we do? What we feel? 
whether you give value to any opinion, what is our attitude towards something else, purpose. By acting out real life situations, people understand when we enact real life situations, we can understand the cause of our problem and at the same time, the results of their own behavior. Suppose I am acting as a person, specific person. Say for example, if I can act, if I act as a uh, tuberculosis patient, okay, tuberculosis patient, or if I can act as an antenatal mother, so what should be the attitude of the antenatal mother? Why they are not going? If they are going to attend the clinic for checkup, or as a TB patient, why they are not continuing the medicine? Okay. It is a particular useful for addressing problems of attitude and values. Again, group size. Question comes for group size. Role playing usually done with a small group to ensure that all participants can observe the play. Small group. Time. Role play should not continue more than 20 minutes. Or, or when the role players think. Yes, they have solved their problems or the audience or the observers are feeling bored, they can discontinue the role play. The play should be stopped when the players have solved the problem or the players are getting confused or the audience looks bored. Another 20 to 30 minutes should be allowed for discussion to focus on the important issues reflected through their play. Say for example, three players will be there. This is very interesting and important. Listen carefully. Questions may come in the exam third year, not now. That is the problem. Okay. Now you cannot, if you do not listen, you will forget. In the third year, the exam, these things definitely will come in the exam. In the final examination, third MBBS, whole year, you have to go through the community medicine subject including health education and communication. Okay. Another 20 30 minutes should be allowed for discussion to focus on the important say for example problems of drugs of TB patient. So one TB patient will be there in the role play. One will act as a TB patient, one will act as a TB health visitor, one will, will act as a TB doctor one will act as a depot holder, at least four or five persons will be there. When they enact, okay, real life situation, say for example, if I supposed to play the role of TB patient, okay, before I start, somebody or the director will direct me or director will give me the description of the situation. This is the situation. Now you can act as you like. So when I have enacted the role as a TB patient, you will observe, you mean the observer will observe and they will jot down what is the fault, how it can be improved. In this way, every person will observe the players, a person who can act as a TB health visitor, what role? He should or she should have been played, then it will be improved. Okay. Next, please. As a process. Players are selected from the members. Players are selected from the members who then receive a description of the character. What should be the character of a T patient? What should be the character of a TB health visitor? What should be the character of a depot holder? What should be the character as a medical officer, TV specialist, like that. Description of the character he or she has to play. From the description, from these descriptions only, there will be no script. That is the difference between role play and drama. In the drama, there will be script, but in role play, there will be no script. From the descriptions given by an expert, the players make up the action and the dialogues as the role play progresses. Enacting the role as they have observed 
experience in real life situation. Say for example, I told you just for example, pregnant women in antenatal clinic, TB, drug users, intravenous drug users, etc. Role play is followed by a debriefing that is most important. In drama, no question of debriefing. What is debriefing? Debriefing means, say for example, once the role play I will discuss. Once the role play or enactment is over, are you feeling bored? Then I will stop. So tell me what is the debriefing? I told you that once the enactment is over, then question comes with debriefing. That is very important. Once the role play is over, then the observer will say something about the acting of different character. Say for example, you as an observer, you will clearly observe, I am acting as a TV user, TV patient. What is my fault? Or how my role can be improved much and much, much more. Say for example, another person act as a, every person has a role is a teamwork, then only TB patients will get benefit, TB patients will continue the medicines, TB patients will go to the clinic and collect the medicine, then you will cure. From the description, the players make up the actions and the dialogue as the role play progresses, enacting the roles as they have. Role play is followed by debriefing and discussion sessions of the problem. Other group members that I told you, other group members watch carefully and at the end of the play, during debriefing, they discuss their reactions. Suppose I am enacting, I was enacting as a TV patient, what was your reaction? Whether it is good, what is bad, how it can be improved. Discuss the reactions and what could have been done differently to get better outcome. That is most important. Debriefing session is most important. Then only it will improve. Next please. Demonstration. Am I to discuss demonstrations? Or you will discuss, I will listen. Demonstration. So many classes, so many demonstration class you have attended. Is it? What you have learned in the demonstration? Tell me. Forget about this one. Same things I will discuss. Demonstration. What is that? In demonstrations, small groups will be required. First one. And second one, what is the purpose of demonstration? Here is their purpose. Demonstrations are lively mix of theoretical teaching as well as practical one. Both theory and practical. Okay. What is the purpose? Demonstrations will help you or the people to teach new skills. Example, preparation of what is positioning and attaching of infant to mother's breast for breast milk, breastfeeding, steps of hand washing. Yes, these are the topics. Okay. So, skills you will learn. That is the purpose of the demonstration to assist people to learn new skills. Group size, again, small group size. Why? Demonstration is usually done, small groups to ensure that all participants can participate, practice the skills and ask questions. Not only ask questions, every participant has the opportunity or should get the opportunity to practice the same skills that will be watched by the participant. You will come here and will practice, okay. That much number so automatically if the number is small, then it will be very good. Everybody must get the opportunity to practice this skill. Next please. Subject. Process of planning the demonstration. Subject. The skills that the group needs to learn. Subject. The skills that group needs to learn. So for example, if you require to know or acquire the skills about hand washing, and washing will be subject. If you require to know the skills of using the computer software, okay, so that will be, that may be the subject. The subject will depend upon the your needs, upon the needs of the learners. Materials, what materials we require during demonstration.
status and number of real object, if it is not available, then models, specimens, IC materials like posters, photographs, etc. In demonstration, the materials are required. This material should be listed. What materials we require to achieve the purpose of the demonstration, to achieve the purpose of the subject, fine, to achieve the purpose of the learner. We have to list, jot down, these the materials should be required, okay. Then we have to collect these materials, kept ready in sufficient numbers to enable everyone to practice in these sessions. Then we have to decide the place or venue. Venue should be chosen keeping in mind that enough space available for demonstration. Time, again time should be enough, not 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depends upon, okay. Times must be variable, there should not be any fixed time. Say for example, you are 40 in number, okay. So, 40 learner should get the opportunity to practice the skills. So, then time will be more, time will be required more. Enough time should be allotted depending upon the subject, past question as well as practice. That is very important. Everybody must get the opportunity to practice. Then only they can learn the skill. Next, conduct the demonstration. Already you have attended so many demonstration class, just milia now, okay. What has been taught, what has been discussed, what has been shown, what has been practiced, whether did you get the opportunity to practice or not, just go through it. Step 1, first the demonstrator or the teachers, whatever maybe, the demonstrators will explain the ideas and skills that will be demonstrated using photograph, pictures, real object, etc. That means as a demonstrator, I have to first tell you, I will discuss or I will tell you this is the showing this. Step number two, conducting the demonstration slowly, not hurriedly, one step at a time, one step at a time, not hurriedly, one, two, three, four like that, one step at a time, making sure that everybody ha can see what I am doing and at the same time explaining and repeating the steps as necessary. I have to ask each and every participant, every learner, if anybody cannot understand or one person can understand, I have to repeat these things to them. Step 3, one participant, next, one participant, I will call one participant, one participant will One participant will demonstrate and other will observe. Clear? One person will come here, he or she will demonstrate and others will observe it. Step number three, step number four, everyone is given a chance to practice while they are watched and given silence. I as a learner have come here, I am practicing the skills and you are observing me, okay? Then you are observing how I am doing, then you will give your suggestion, the action. Everyone is given a chance to practice while they are watched and given session. It is useful to have people work in pairs, work in pairs, action and do so that one can have each other's suggestions and help. It is useful to have people work in pairs, okay. So that they can have each other's sessions and help. One person will do, other person will closely observe. Apart from observing by the others also. Next debriefing. It should be checked that everyone can practice the skill correctly before leaving the demonstration room or demonstration event. Clear? So everybody must get the opportunity to practice. Then only they can learn. One Chinese proverb is there. If we hear, we can forget. If we see, we can remember. If we do, we can 
learn. Clear? Can you repeat? Anybody? Hello? If we hear, we can forget. If we see, if we observe, if we see, we can remember. If we do, we can learn. So that is the essence of demonstration. Next, please. Perhaps you know this terminology health fair. In Bengali, we call it Sastamela. Nothing but. So, what is that? I have discussed about the health promotion activities in group applicable in group situation, applicable in individual situation. Now, I am discussing only one that is applicable in community situation. A health fair is an educational and inactive, inact, interactive event designed at the community level to provide basic information and services like screening the people in the community for non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, etc. and using this opportunity to motivate for changing risk behavior. A health fair is an educational and interactive event designed at the community level to provide basic information and services for changing their risk behavior. It includes exhibitions also. Next. Steps. Okay. Formation of planning committee for the event. Number one, if we want to organize, we are going to organize the health fair from 10th of January to 15th January. Okay. So, during this health fair, people will come, people from the surrounding community will come. This is the opportunity for us to promote their health as the community people are concerned. So, for the reason we should know how to organize the health fair, how to organize the health fair. Number one, the most important thing, the formation of planning committee for the event. We have to form a planning committee for organizing a health fair. Members should include people from the target, what is, who are the target community? Who are the target community? Follow? You know, 40 years and above, okay, the target of people, definitely. They are the target people, 40 years and above. That these are our target population. Target community means, supposing that surrounding the community are the target community because they are supposed to come. So, we have to involve them before planning the health fair. We have to form a committee and we have to take the representative from each and every community. Then only it will be crystallized. Then only it will be more and more important one. Selection of theme. What issue will be, will it be based on? We have to select the theme. No, at such. Health fair means action camera. So, bulidilam. Not at all. Okay. We have to select the subject or theme. For example, is it? the growing prevalence of non communicable disease in the community. Specifying the audience what to be reached at the event. For example, populations age 40 years and above. Tak. Okay. So, this is health fair. So, in order to organize the health fair, what we have to do? We have to organize the or to frame up health committee. In the health committee, representative from each and every community will be there. Okay. Then what to do? Tell me. I will not tell. You will tell me. I will listen. Decide the topics which then simple things. Follow. Okay, inform the target people. Fine. Then I can call one by one. Take it. Think and tell. It is not tough enough. Not tough at all. Formation of planning committee that is very important. Okay. Decide the target population. Okay. Then theme, decision of the theme. Then no. you have to think about this day, date, time, place, procuring venue, procuring the materials, procuring you have to procure the materials. You have to think about the budget. 
you have to think about the budget then procure the material all the material concerning the issue or the thing okay then think about the budget then construction of booth construction of booth why you have to keep the exhibit okay advent of materials say for example in case of ncd what things different types of diet different foods that should be eaten that we should eat what things we should not eat then physical activity then we should not use tobacco so cross the tobacco we have to keep it all these things okay now discussions debriefing sessions no debriefing sessions for 5 minutes what i discuss you have to tell me what i have discussed all the group methods concerning the group activities for promoting health for health promotion of the people for promoting health of the 